here from central Pennsylvania. I had to find a good spot here where I could get the uh, camera up and get the uh, sun out of the picture. As promised, I know it's a bit late for people in South Africa, but not everybody's in South Africa, people around the world who watch the stream. So, well, um, uh, it seems that uh, the subscribers, the members, the followers, the fans, all the people fall in that category for Curse Wide Africa have gotten together and made me a birthday present slash Christmas present, but it's it's really a birthday present. Um, but my birthday happens to fall on Christmas. So here it is, folks, right there. Uh, check it out. Isn't that amazing? It came in the mail today. This is awesome. So happy birthday, Chris, from all of us. And they took my wallpaper from the Mahalisburg and made it uh, a backdrop and put 2020 on there. So cool. And I'm going to show you the pages. It's a pretty cool book, folks. There are personal greetings from people inside here, uh, many of whom you guys know. So you open up the book and there's my Indaba Africa with my business card imposed right on top of that. That's pretty cool. And then um, you turn the next page and they've got um, a picture. that said, is that Chris's first stream? Yeah. And then um, we've got, a, this is from Aina and James. Birthday wishes. Thank you so much for that. That looks like they were in Rome or in Tunisia. That's beautiful. Then we flip the page from that. This is really cool, folks. So we flip the page from that. And then there's one of my NASA streams. And then this is from from uh, Shoes and Tattoos and Bram Janssen von Rendsburg. Here we go, folks. Check it out. Isn't that cool? How cool is this? This is really awesome stuff. So there you go. Yeah, Marauder, it's pretty awesome. There's Brom. Hey, Brom, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. That is so cool. And then this one here, uh, this is pretty cool. They started keeping track of my subscriber growth. And this one has from April 29th of 2021, I had 250 subscribers, which to me was a big deal. Um, this is Dear Colonel White, a.k.a. Father Christmas. Happy birthday. Love from Beth and family, i.e. the kids that made you cry during a live stream once. There you go. That's from Beth and uh, her kids. And check it out. That's when I had 250. Look at that. Look how excited I was about 250 subscribers, man. How cool is that? Yeah, Arctic says, big thanks to Erica for arranging all this and for Hendo for not snitching. <laughs> yeah, he did. Uh, 500 subscribers on May 11th. Um, and it's just uh, from Laura Fry family. It says, happy, merry Christmas birthday, Colonel Wyatt. Hope you have an amazing Christmas birthday. May your year ahead be filled with blessings and joy. Isn't that cool? Look at that. <laughs> it's really awesome. This is amazing, amazing, man. It says, hey, Yanni, isn't this a really cool friggin' birthday gift? And then um, May 8th, which was kind of a big day for the channel, really big day. That sun's really getting away. Sorry, folks. A really huge day, May 8th. That's when we did the Giselle lockdown, her album debut, Fit Once Mensa. And uh, we only had 187, well, we had more than 187 subscribers. We must have had more than 500 at that point. I don't know why I said 187. But, um, yeah, this is from Drian and Lezan. Happy birthday. Thank you for all your love and knowledge, Drian and Lezan. There you go. Check it out. Um, pretty cool. And the image from Giselle's concert. How cool is that? Yeah. And then the next one is 1,000 subscribers on May 24th. Colonel Chris Wyatt, I wish you a happy birthday and you and your family Merry Christmas with kind regards, Ronald Lauvis, a.k.a. Ron von Ryman. Uh, check it out, folks. Uh, 1,000 subscribers, that's Ron von Ryman. Yeah, Robin, this is like super cool, isn't it? <laughs> it's amazing. So, um, like I said, I wasn't doing the Night Owls edition tonight. This is kind of in lieu of that. I did get to the post office and collect this. Then I tried to go to Starbucks to get a Frappuccino. Nope, they closed at 3 p.m more fascist totalitarian nonsense to try to keep us into behavior forcing us to stay at home so we went from 1,000 subscribers there and then the next one is this is happy birthday and merry christmas um chris um in an awful and oppressive year thank you for keeping us amused informed schooled and above all sane your rants are legendary your rugby shirts infinite and your energy boundless <laughs> <sighs> thanks and a proper civilian salute Thank you. 4,000 subscribers. 4,000 subscribers on June 26, folks. Wow. That's actually a photo I like. That one's pretty cool. Look at that hair. I love that hair. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. So thanks. Uh, what's the next one here? July 21st. This was when I got cutting up my Springbok jerseys, which I didn't do. And then I, I got castigated by lazy people who didn't bother to pay attention to what what uh, was actually said there. Um, <laughs> I said I didn't cut my jerseys up. So this is um, happy birthday, Chris. Thank you for your dedication and support. P.S. Merry Christmas from Erica. Wish you a better new year ahead. Oh, that's awesome. 
And this one, Erica got the spot where I'm not cutting up my Springbok jerseys <laughs> on July 21st. Uh, your post box is working on Africa time. <laughs> says to you. Yeah. And then, um, this one is from <clears throat> none other than Ronaldo Jose himself. Uh, happy birthday, Chris. Hope we hope you have a very special day and that your year ahead is filled with love, laughter, and special moments. And it says, um, love the host family. Um, but, um, Ronaldo has Kennedy and Carter in here <laughs> wearing, wearing those, uh, birthday hats. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Lauren's not in there, but, uh, uh, we know she's there. So anyway, and that one, that was 7,000 subscribers on August 13th. Wow. 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 That's another photo I like. I remember taking that one, that video. That was pretty cool. Uh, yes, I'm in the passenger seat, Jen, because the sun is shining and now it's getting over here, but it was blocking my view on the other side. So, um, this was, um, this is uh, Chris Love, uh, Audrey, our Call of Duty. There's a soldier in all of us. That's pretty cool, Audrey. Thanks for that. Uh, Bikers Unite Against Farm Attacks and Racism. This is from August 29th. That was an epic stream. What a fun day that was. It was amazing. 41,000 motorcycle riders in um, Hauteng uh, around Pretoria. Just unbelievable, folks. So cool. Uh, let me see. Uh, then uh, <laughs> I guess this one's kind of to take a play on 2020 and the theme of COVID and Wuhan coronavirus. Chris Wyatt, Merry Christmas and happy birthday. Regards, uh, Rural family, shack dweller. He's got RNA. He's got unmasking 2020. Uh, I'm unmasking the year. That's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Anyway, so let's see what else we got here. Um, a very belated birthday, Uncle Chris. So gift arrived. You must have an awesome last day of 2020. Yeah, no, this makes it awesome. Uh, here we go with Yanni Meyer, um, the Vitkois monument. This is from September 19th. Um, Plasmod. Uh, I'm going to blow it. I'm going to blow it. Chilucha Feyazdag. Om Chris, may your year ahead be filled with many blessings. Thank you for keeping us informed. Have a great day. And uh, so there you go. Um, thank you, Jessica. I appreciate it. That's pretty cool. Thank you very much. Um, I'm sure you said it, but the volume of messages just shows how much you mean to, yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, then the red buffoons, uh, in Seneca on October 16th, which was the biggest day for the channel for subscribers. We gained 2,400 subscribers that day. It was insane. That was also the day that everybody that was going to stream didn't show up to stream for me. So it's amazing that people watch the channel folks that day we had, we had a peak of 5,700 concurrent subscribers and I had a total of 140,000 people watch that stream. Thank you so much for that. Senegal and EFF Rui Kabutus. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to screw it up again because it's Senda Kafis. Um, uh, and then this is Katrin. Um, I'm guessing that this might be Citizen Guardian's daughter. I'm not sure. Katrin, I think that's who that was. I hope that's who that was. Thank you very much. Um, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the brew. I'm pretty sure this is the brew. It says happy birthday from the garage. <laughs> garage. And what do we see over here? But four more years. Oh my gosh. That's the brew. That's the brew. Thank you, brew. Wow. Uh, guys, this is like unbelievable. Um, I know this wasn't free. It takes money and time. Thank you so much for that. Um, and then it says, um, happy birthday, Chris. Um, oh gosh, I can hardly read it because of my, um, something you have been a wonderful um special person to me words can't um overemphasize how much you mean to me from your encouraging words um uh, sorry the bright of my day today um i can't read is it mia olivia I, I, i'm sorry i can't read that one very well maybe erica knows who that was but thank you so much. That's when I get 20,000 subscribers, folks. November 30th, 20,000 subscribers, 2020. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? It is so awesome, Rob. This is amazing. This, is, uh, this affection is unbelievable. And I guess my signature welcoming paying members and uh, those who support the channel financially in that fashion, uh, I offer salute. And I'm glad that um, if Erica put this together or whoever put it together, um, that you picked the photograph in which I had a decent haircut. My hair was combed. Saluting a new member. And then the Indaba um, welcome screen, which uh, Talon Bezidenhout is the one who created that graphic for me. Thank you, Talon. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, that's pretty cool. I love that. That's amazing. So, uh, and then, um, of course, I guess everybody loved the Father Christmas stuff. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so that's it. Um, that was from, uh, is it Miss Olivier? Sorry. Oh, Miss Olivier. Oh, thank you so much for that. Uh, appreciate that. Guys, this is, <laughs> this 
is unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. It's pretty amazing. It's a nice gift. The mods put it together. Thanks, Sandy. They did a great job. Wow, guys. That was... That was... Wow. <laughs> wow. And my mom's on the cover, so that's pretty cool, too. So thanks a lot for that. Um, it's a really cool gift. Yeah, that's an awesome gift. It's not an Audi A6, but it'll do. <laughs> yeah, I'll wait on the Audi a little bit longer. Um, excuse me. But uh, <laughs> Andy says, I'm touching many lives. Well, I hope so. I hope so. Let's get more people to know about the channel, folks, because the message is important. So many things have to be said. People have to know. Um, the A5 is the coolest. Is in the <laughs> Actually, the Q7 is the one I want, not the A6. The Q7, that's the one I want. So if you're going to give me an Audi, give me... Hey, that's Lori from Finland. Hey, Lori, are you just tuning in? Did you see this amazing gift that everybody sent? Uh, I suspect a lot of you that are currently here were part of this, and thank you all so much for that. Um, they should have put a tissue in a package. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Real men don't cry, right? Anyway, sorry about that. Yeah, but uh, it's very touching. Thank you so much for that, folks. Yeah, you can probably see the background here. I'm in Carlisle at one of the local shopping areas. I wanted to go in Starbucks, and uh, they closed their doors at 3 p.m. Unbelievable, folks. Um, uh, Jessica says, thanks for what you do. It was my pleasure. I'll send you a toy Audi. <laughs> yeah, Q7. Q7. Let's stick to the Q7, folks. Anyway, or, or if you're going to get me something else, a Toyota Land Cruiser would be appreciated, too. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow, folks. Um, yeah, this is this is amazing. It was worth the wait. Um, yeah, Amazon Photos. I didn't realize Amazon was doing this. This is, uh, this is super cool. And isn't it so cool that people can write these personal notes and draw these things? And send them from around the world because they can be scanned and then they can be uploaded. And it's just amazing. Um, and you got all the major dates because I didn't I didn't celebrate every milestone, but I picked specific ones. But it's really cool when I look back at this and and um, I see that um, it says um, where was that at? It was the third page? I think it was after the one from Brahm Yunsef. But yeah, April 29th, man, 250 subscribers. So I want to tell people that the live streams are really only been doing this in, in earnest since late may um yeah it's true i mean at the end of may what do we have at the end of may may 11th we had 500 subscribers let's see what the next one is so may 8th here we go so i had 500 uh when when giselle came on there uh, may 24th they had a thousand so basically for may so june july august september october we go into twenty thousand. it's amazing folks thank you so much for this um jody says thanks for all your efforts 21 bring the dreams you wish for well i wish that this hysteria ends at people's liberty and freedoms get restored that's what i wish for um yeah uh i don't have to ask for my two front teeth i still got them got all my teeth so i don't need to ask for my two front teeth but i do uh hope that everybody gets their freedom back and that this nonsense ends and that that sanity begins to prevail tintin says or tintin says great job they did um, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's awesome. We'll send the Land Cruiser. <laughs> what does it say? Pre-equipped with what? Pre-equipped with servicing rights in Botswana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Because, uh, Dada won't let me, uh, get it serviced unless I buy it there. Good point. Um, that always said cowboys don't cry in front of their horses. I say the horse won't mind. <laughs> well said, Shack Dweller. Thank you so much. Thank you guys all so much. This is pretty amazing. Um, it's been a rough emotional year for everybody. Yeah, it has, Robin. It has been. Um, whether we've lost a job, lost a home, hopefully that isn't the case, lost a marriage, lost a loved one, we've all lost something this year. And even if you've lost none of those things, you've lost elements of your freedom, your ability to congregate and assemble with others. It has been an unbelievably difficult year. It would have been a challenge with just COVID, but the conduct of our politicians around the world has made this a very difficult, very, very difficult year for all of us that didn't have to be. And at least it didn't have to be in the fashion that it was. So um, let's hang in there, folks. Brahm uh, Yonsef von Rensburg says we're family. You know, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's, um, always seeing that, uh, hello to, uh, Chris Wyatt family. It's pretty cool when I see that show up in the chat. Um, yeah. So, and thanks for sticking with me, folks. We've had a few trying times this year with, 
with trolls that try to undermine the channel um, and people from uh, some channels that are envious that seem to think it's a zero-sum game. It's not a zero-sum game. You can watch whatever content you want. Um, you can go watch someone else if you want. I never discourage people from watching other people's content. Let's just dodge you, Joe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I even encourage people to watch Joe Emilio's channel as well. So, yeah, let me see. So, um, Graham says, happy birthday and new year to you, Colonel. And thank you for your wonderful streams and words throughout the year. Great inspiration to all of us. That's very kind of you. Uh, Robin says, I joke around, but Joe made me cry on his stream earlier. Why did Joe make you cry, Robin? What happened there? Why is Joe making you cry? I'll have words with Joe, Robin. Lost my job this year. Luckily, found a new job a month later, but only about a third of the pay. Uh, that really, really, really sucks, uh, Landon. That really, really sucks. Uh, I do hope that the year turns better for you. Um, if, if they don't keep us in this nonsense for too long, there will be a massive economic explosion, pent-up demand pent-up need will drive production, industrial production. And uh, I mean, for instance, right now you can't get laptops still, or you get, you get poor selection. Uh, he dished out some wise words. It was amazing. Oh, really? Okay, cool. Sorry, I missed that. But um, yeah, no, um, hopefully, um, Chris, have you got some sick plans after COVID time? I know you had bookings for speeches before the, the virus of the fan. Um, yeah, I, I, I will. Um, Lori, what I'll do is... Um, I will begin traveling and for my consultancy, and uh, I will be doing research for writing. Uh, I have trips planned um, to New Zealand, to South Africa, uh, probably to United Kingdom and Germany or Europe in the coming year for research and work, and so that's all part of it. Um, it must have been Joe singing. We all cry. <laughs> ah, that's funny. I'm sorry I missed that, but yeah. So that will be. Um, yeah, I do have plans. Um, it's interesting because I talked to a couple of colleagues who retired recently from the army whom I know, and uh, they're, they're looking at some work and, and I actually uh, sought work for about 30 or 45 days. I put in applications for positions um, for some big organizations, Catholic Relief Services, um, some places like um, in the UK, other places here in the US, and I put some applications in and then the lockdown happened. And I almost wasn't disappointed that it happened because I um, wasn't sure that I wanted to go to a job like that, full time like that. Uh, the flexibility and independence that I'm able to afford, the luxury I have now to do what I'm doing is really awesome. One thing that's not awesome is I forgot to bring my selfie stick. So I'm holding this phone in my hand. <laughs> so it's bouncing around a little bit. But but yeah, so um, yeah, that'll all be um, stuff that'll be sorted out as the lockdown continues, what I'm going to do and where where I go forward with this and we'll see what happens. But um, a good suggestion on the chat yesterday is that I write something on South African history and try to get published in South Africa. I think that was a good idea. Um, I'm really looking forward to the book launch. It won't be a commercial success. This is an academic book. They charge like $125 a copy for the book. Um, so not a big audience is going to have it, but it will be uh, an influential audience that will read this book of which I'm one of many authors, but I have one of the key chapters at the beginning. So that's kind of cool. And of course that's published by Stellenbosch University, as I mentioned many times, that's coming up in January. So I'm looking forward to that. But I need to get back to writing some articles, maybe on rugby. Um, and then I need to start writing again. But uh, I do look forward to travel if we can get past this hideous nonsense of politicians stealing our liberty and freedom. Um, I really have a lot in mind what I'd like to do, uh, particularly like for a trip to South Africa and to Botswana. Uh, and now it looks like I'm just going to have to go to Namibia. I'm going to have to go to Namibia. I don't really have a choice. I mean, <laughs> we've got a lot of people watching the program from Namibia who've uh, commented, contributed. And there's a lot happening in Namibia now. So what with um, SWAPO having gotten a PK uh, in this last uh, local and regional election just happened a few weeks back. Um, we'll see. Maybe uh, things will improve for the better. But there's no guarantee of that. The opposition may prove to be just as useless as SWAPO has been. But we'll see. So a lot coming up. But, uh, of course, um, I'm going through some withdrawals here with no rugby uh, to speak of. And it's really frustrating. And then when rugby was on, it was... Um, we can't get curry cup here, by the way. So if you're wondering, um, it, when rugby was on, it was um, nobody in the stands. It's not the same game, folks, when nobody's watching it. Anyway, so this is an amazing birthday gift. I want to thank everybody who played a role in this and anybody who knew about it and then didn't spill the beans and tell me. Thank you so much for not spilling the beans because it's a really awesome gift. It's amazing. I don't know what to say um, other than thanks. <laughs> it's really cool. It's really cool. Um, you know, sometimes I wonder whether whether I should be doing this or whether it's worth the time. Also, when I hear comments from colleagues and former colleagues who, who say things and, um, to me and, um, 
And then I also see the trolls and I'm like, you know, is it really worth the time and effort to do this? Because um, it's largely an unpaid gig, as I've said before. Um, but it is definitely a labor of love. And uh, that makes it not a labor at all. It just it makes it something worth doing. Um, so maybe I'll knuckle down, get improvements to my computer or get a new computer altogether and launch from there and see how it happens. Um, maybe I'll just buy a new computer. That's, that's, why not? I just hate buying new computers and starting all over because you have to transfer things and reset things up and ugh, it gets so frustrating. But yeah, so um, maybe that's the answer uh, so far as the computer. Overcome this IT mess we've run into lately. But, but you guys have been fantastic. It's been amazing, um, amazing audience, amazing year. Um, yeah. Uh, I, it, given, given the, um, the, the support for the channel, I can only think that, um, that people support the channel because it's genuine. Uh, I'm not blowing smoke up your skirt. I'm not telling you fairy tales. Uh, if you give me contradictory evidence and it's, it's genuine evidence, I accept the evidence. Um, if you have a difference of opinion, I tend not to belittle people. I tend to treat people with respect, although we are cheeky at times. Everybody's cheeky, so it's not a perfect system, but, um, I, I like to think that's part of the reason why people find the content appealing. And I know some people find kind of the content appealing because they're impressed by the CV. That's cool. If that's what impresses people, that's nice. Um, it doesn't impress me. Oftentimes I'm embarrassed about talking about my CV, but uh, I will say that, um, that, uh, I enjoyed being on the radio when I was a young man in college and I missed it. And this isn't the radio, but, um, it is similar in many respects. I'm really enjoying, um, this, uh, there's people hanging around outside my car, <laughs> I'm really enjoying this aspect of it. And I'm looking forward to the cake Tate off our cons broadcast network. That should be interesting in doing that program. And thanks for the suggestion today. Uh, suggestion was to get, um, Patrick from farmers aid, uh, South Africa on the channel as one of my first interviews for cake Tate. And I think it was a really good suggestion. So we'll take a look at that and see what we can do uh, about making that part of the first program on the 13 series arc, 13 episode arc. Um, yeah, so I promise not to be like Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> oh my God, I watched an episode last night in which he used the C word. He called some French chef a C word. Wow, Gordon Ramsay's a riot, man. Um, it was crazy. But uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, this is an amazing birthday gift. Thank you all for tuning in. It's really, really cool. It's super awesome. I, I'm super awesome. I sound like I'm 15 years old. It's super awesome, but it is. It's really cool. Uh, this it really touches me. Um, I hope you guys see that and, and and understand that really is genuine. It's really amazing stuff. Um, yeah. So for those who can't see the cover really well, let me just explain to you what's on here. So that's the the Mahalisberg image that I took uh, coming from Habaroni to Botswana a couple years ago. Because somebody asked me earlier when we were last in South Africa well, two years ago, um, because this year is a wash. So. That was a Mahalisberg there just before Olafon's neck uh, by Rustenberg. And in the foreground is the year 2020 put in there. And it's a collage of, in the number space of guests I've had on the program this year. That was just through July, not all my guests. So amazing work to make that happen. And then in the uh, zero is a picture of me at the Rugby World Cup USA versus England in Kobe in 2019. And then on the right is a picture of my mother from about 1976 or 77 wearing her CB jacket when we were doing, um, you know, stuff back in the seventies, amazing stuff. Um, have you got, um, it must have been just, Oh, what's going on here? Oh, I'm way behind the chat. Sorry, man. It stopped. I'm getting load shedding tomorrow. Oh, wow. Shame. Um, hey, stronger together. Jeez. I'm missing a lot of stuff. I wish I could watch the stream, but since the power is still on the mobile internet, it's dropping the whole time. Catch you guys later. Okay. Ice. What a strange, strange, but amazing year. And we found new friends and family. Cool. That is true, Erica. It's been cool. Um, Jessica says, would you be able to do a stream on New Year's? Yes, I will. I will be doing a New Year's stream, U.S. New Year's time. I've mentioned already, Jessica, the reason I'm doing that is because people in South Africa and Botswana and Namibia get to celebrate New Year's twice. You get to celebrate it twice. You can celebrate when you strike the clock at midnight in your part of the world, and then you can tune into my stream and join me for it. So, yes, we'll be doing it twice, two New Year's. I'll be joining um, Ronaldo for his stream, but I'll also have a stream tomorrow. So um, Andy says, this year I, I researched South Africa publishing industry. If you decide to try and publish commercially, please contact me. I can't do that, but I know some great people now. Cool, cool. All right, thanks. Uh, Laura, hey, Laura. Uh, I feel like a troll for not sending a card. It's okay, Andy. Sounds very good. Uh, would be interesting to see your articles in some academic journals soon. 
Um, no, I have some out there, Lori. Um, I already have some articles in academic journals. I've published there. Also published author in a book on um, security assistance to Africa that the U.S. Army War College published a couple years ago. Remember, storytellers have the most powerful job in the world. That's too, Jody. That is true. What is this? Uh, we're waiting for cake tape. Well, yeah, it's coming, guys. Always treat everyone with respect. I try, Laura. I try. Thank you for that. Hi, Chris. Thanks for all your dedication and great streams. I stumbled upon you on t onto your streams in July, my birthday, and enjoying it ever since. Wishing you, you all the best. Thank you so much for that, Andy. I appreciate it. And then uh, Dollinger said you bought you brought hundreds of South Africans together from around the world. That's okay. That's, that's, that's true. I don't really think about that, but I mean, we got South Africans in China, Andre Jacobs, they got uh, Peter Crutchley in New Zealand and, 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 and Craig is in New Zealand and uh, Hendo in the UK, uh, Jessica here in the U S and Winnie Fondameva here in the U S and so many others from around the world. Uh, Afrikaners in Ireland, South Africans in France. It's amazing. Uh, drop the Gordon Lind <laughs> Gordon Ramsay link. Uh, you're a very honorable YouTuber, and I, for one, appreciate you take the time to fact check info. You're a legend. Well, thank you, Chad. That's very kind of you. Did Gordon rhyme with stunt or shunt? <laughs> it, it rhymed with shunt. <laughs> That's what it was, Jack Dollar. Uh, my mom would love. Okay, uh, cool. Hey, Jen. Yeah, mom would mom would love that because she's right there, Jen, right there on the side. You see it? So she's in the in the zero. There's mom's picture right there. And my sister's in the chat, folks, in case you're wondering who that is. That's my sister. It's my little sis. <laughs> She's a rock star. Love her. Um, yeah, so what else we got here? Oh, no. So I thought you were doing only SA time New Year's. No, 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 no. I'm going to do USU. I'm gonna, yeah. Tomorrow is going to be a busy stream day at Chris White Africa. Another reason why we didn't have an evening stream tonight because uh, there's so much to do. Laura says, can hop on my New Year's stream tomorrow too. Okay, send me the link, Laura. I'll pop on your stream as well. Happy to do it. If anybody else has got a channel tomorrow, they'd like me to pop in and say hello um, or be cheeky. I'll be happy to do that for your streams tomorrow on New Year's Eve. Um, we call New Year's Eve Sylvester Abend uh, in Germany. So for Sylvester Abend, I'm kind of excited, um, not, not that the year's ending, but just because looking forward to these streams. So it'll be a lot of fun. But yeah, um, so South Africans are seven hours ahead of the East Coast now. So when I do a stream at 11 o'clock at night, it's going to be 6 a.m. in South Africa. So when people are up in the morning, they, if they're still sober, they can wake up and join us again. There's Tony's in Alberta. Yeah, Tony, good to see you there again. Uh, we're going to say Jumanji instead of happening <laughs> here. Okay. Uh, hit the candle shop and take take home a surprise. Okay, go on the sheep mode one last time for 2020. Um, uh, Laura says, you're more than welcome to be cheeky on my stream. No worries. Uh, uh, okay. And there you go. Ghost wasn't supposed to be there. Anyway, yeah, cool. Anyway, folks, it's pretty awesome. So um, I don't know what else to say other than, wow, this is, I mean, these things, I know Amazon isn't always the best uh, prices and stuff, but this is really cool. This is so well done. Um, this wasn't really my first stream, um, but look at that beard, folks. That was my beard earlier this year. Look at that. Look at that. Now look. <laughs> wow. Wow, what a difference uh, a few months makes. There you go. So cool beans. But this is a really awesome gift. I, I don't know what to say other than this is cool. This one's kind of neat. Um, the 500 subscribers, and that's from Laura. Look at that. It's from Laura right there. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I forgot that I had that blowing horn. Yeah. I'll need that for tomorrow evening, won't I? Because it's Sylvester Robin New Year's. Anyway, folks. Um, yeah, so um, we call that... Uh, Bum fluff. Now you have a beard. <laughs> oh, you meant earlier. Yeah, earlier year equals under early year beer is under cheap. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh, yeah. Um, Laura's channel is Femme Fatale, uh, but you got to spell it right and make sure you put the ZA there. You'll never find her because if you just look her name up, there's a million people with the name Laura Fry on YouTube. Anyway, cool beans. So, um, yeah. All right, cool, folks. All right. So, I want to thank you all so much. Um, we're losing sunlight here in central Pennsylvania. My sister's uh, in the same time zone, but she's about uh, 300 miles west of here, so she'll get a few more minutes of sunlight before it goes down. But, uh, hey, there's Peter Crutchley speaking of uh, South Africans from all over the world. <laughs> to all from you, Zealand. Yeah, as in uh, sheep. We get the joke, Peter. You're always on the cheap jokes in New Zealand. It's good stuff. Uh, yeah, but uh, thank you all so much for tuning in, and thank you for this amazing gift. I will bring this on the stream tomorrow, and it'll be bigger so people can see it with a better camera. You know, this is just my mobile I'm doing. So 
Anyway, cool beans. Um, oh, yeah, thank you, Yanni, for putting the link up to Laura's channel. Check it out, folks. Um, we're trying to get some help to Laura to grow her subscriber base. Um, she has interesting quiz nights, um, but I, I don't play because I would win all the time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would win all the time. She has some funny stuff on there, especially about animals. I don't know all the answers on animals, but it's pretty cool. Anyway, folks, I'm going to close here. Thanks. God bless. Have a good night. One day left in 2020. One day left. One day left. Um, even if you're in New Zealand, it's still not New Year's yet, but it's coming soon. So everyone, oh, my battery's down to 15%, so I have to end anyway. But folks, God bless, and uh, thank you so much for the birthday gift. I appreciate it. Thank you for the 44 likes, uh, and I appreciate it, people who tuned in. Uh, it's awesome. Thank you so much, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Lots going on tomorrow, folks. I'll have my regular stream on. I'll have a New Year's stream on. Then I'll be on Ronaldo and Laura's stream, at least, maybe others. And then um, at mid before midnight, our time on the East Coast, I'll do a New Year's stream from central Pennsylvania. So you guys can tune in for that. Thanks a lot. God bless, folks. We'll catch you later. Thanks for the support. <laughs> Man, thanks for the awesome birthday gift. Uh, I'll cherish this. This is awesome. I'm going to keep it right there in my office. That's uh, pretty awesome. All right, folks, I'm out of here. Take care. God bless and have a safe night, everybody. Take care.